So we came in off of the sleep thing. Right here. I'm going to pivot out, winning the space on the inside first. The first objective is not get this leg out and try to throw it over. Look, I, he left space, but he would follow that space and crush me. And now I'm trying to win the inside space and get to the meat hook. I want to go from here to win the space first. You see the, mo the, the little movement wins the space first. And this is the priority. That comes in over the top. Got it? And now if he puts, tries to put me flat on my back, I got a foot to work with right here and still keep the space. You guys see what I'm saying? Uh, beat, me, beat me right here. Try to flatten me to my back. Don't get your head clear right there. <laughs> We're gonna do all of that. Okay. So our first play that we're gonna make, as long as this knee is clear. If this knee is not clear, if we get over here and we go whack, and he steps to the inside of the knee, or, or he brings his hand even to the inside. The first play is to get that space back. That's super crucial. Here. I have to either, I need to get back to my butterfly guard, honestly, or put in a knee shield or something else because I'm, the time has passed for the other. Or move your hip and try again. That's a good idea too, right? Especially when he's this deep. But once this is in, when he starts to posture in towards me here to try to flatten me to my back, if I wait until here, I'm gonna feel, yeah. So he moves up my body starts to smash so don't wait until it's too late what I want you to do instead is to slide this hand here under his chin watch I'm gonna go under his chin until my elbow rests on the other side of his neck and then I'm gonna rehook my foot right here and now we're in chill dog and there's the omoplata the gogo plata all of that stuff from right there so we're gonna go meat hook before he starts to really pressure. Once he starts to really pressure, I'm gonna do it a different way. But while he's still kind of sitting back trying to win the space here, perfect. Look, I'm going under and my elbow goes inside, not here where he can, because right here he can crush me and I have to, I lose my hand right there. So I come through and place the elbow, smash me. Put me flat on my back. And now I can just hold him. Look, I don't really have to do anything else. I just try to keep this space mine. But at this point, even if he stuffs that foot through, he's given me a way to move my body. Like, you see, I don't really have to pull it any closer to me to do that. I just change the angle. You see what I'm saying? Step, come back in. Yeah. Smash in. So I can just change, I barely have to do anything. It's not a yank this in front of his face, right? And now I can just pull this hand out and I'm into some game. We'll talk about what to do in a second. Right now, I just want you to practice this transition. Yes. Because he's gonna make this one hard. When, when I go, that's a great question. And that's the way that, um, I do it that way a lot. That's the way that I've always done it, mostly. But right here, as I go this way, like I'm already on my back. I can miss that spot right there. Because I'm over here, it's not as scary to him. It's done. Just, I mean, he doesn't even see it coming like that. That's a trick I learned off of Ant Lopez. He calls that the hood wink. It's just like, whoop, up under the chin. Super cool. Just learned it off a YouTube video. Works great. Ready? One, two, three. Fans! Yeah.